Hey everybody, this is Doug with another short video for my fellow device patients. This one is about MRIs, magnetic resonance imaging, and if we can have an MRI with our device. Uh, now, I remember I'm not a medical professional giving medical advice, I'm just some guy on the internet. So if you are told that you need an MRI, please talk to your cardiologist or your electrophysiologist, or you can contact your medical device manufacturer, and they will be able to help you determine if your implanted system is safe in an MRI environment. Thanks. All right, let's talk about MRIs on our devices. Now there's two main fears that I've seen on the different forums I'm a part of. Uh, the first is that somehow the MRI uh, machine will damage our device, that's a pretty valid concern. And the second is that the MRI machine generates so much magnetic energy that it will either pull the leads out of our heart, move the device within the pocket, or worst yet, rip the device out of our body out of something like from the movie Aliens. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. And here's why. Our devices are made of titanium, and that's a non-ferrous material. That means it's not magnetic. So I can take this magnet, which you've seen me use in a couple of different videos, and here's my car keys, and you can see that that's a pretty strong magnet. That's gonna hold my car keys. So let's take a look at what they do with the different devices. So here is a pacemaker. This is a real Medtronic pacemaker. You can see that there's no magnetic reaction to it at all. Uh, here is my first ICD. This was my original one. I only had it for a few months before I had a replacement. Uh, long story on that. You can see my name is on it. Uh, this is actually a non-MRI safe device. So was that first pacemaker, technically non-MRI non safe. But here we go. No magnetic reaction there. Here's their next generation ICD. Again, no magnetic reaction. So, uh, oh, here's another one. This is a Micra. That's a real deal right there. That's a, a, their new single chamber pacemaker. It goes inside the heart. And you can see no magnetic reaction there either. So our, lead, or our devices are, are non-ferrous. They, they aren't attracted to magnetic power like in an MRI machine. So they're not going to move within our body because we're in an MRI machine. But what about the leads? So I've got a couple of leads here too. These are real leads as well. Here's a, um, here's a pacing lead right here. Uh, it's got a timed tipped on it. That's kind of gets pushed into the heart. This is a defibrillation lead. It's got a screw in tip at the, at the top there. And this is a left heart lead. This is if you have a three lead system, this would go into the left side of your heart. So let's take a look at where these point, uh, leads connect to the heart. And we see, again, there's no magnetic reaction there. So let's go to the middle of the leads. And I'm going to include in here this section of the defibrillation lead, which is the coil. This is the metal coil that the electricity is attracted to when you are shocked. And again, there's no uh, magnetic reaction there. And then the last point that we want to take a look at is where these leads connect to the device. And those are the pins that go into the header blocks. Uh, a lot of metal in here, a lot of different kinds of metal. So let's take a look and see what happens here. And again, no magnetic reaction at all to any of these leads. So you can see that our devices and our leads are made of a material that are non-magnetic, which means the MRI machine is not going to rip these items out of our chest, uh, or they're not going to even move them in the slightest. So we don't need to worry about that. So we don't need to worry about our devices ripping out of our bodies or our leads or devices moving within our bodies. But we do need to be concerned about damage that can occur when the MRI machine is operating and uh, our devices are, are, are picking up that energy. Um, a couple of different things have taken place to prevent damage from happening. First of all, the, the main concern, one of the main concerns, is that our leads act like antenna like radio antennas inside our bodies when there's an MRI in progress. And the MRI waves get picked up by our leads and transferred into heat. Uh, the heat, when it goes to the heart, damages the heart muscle. If it goes to the device, it damages the device. So the first thing is that they've redesigned the leads, and they did this actually a couple decades ago because they, they understood back then how MRIs, uh, how MRI waves would be picked up by our leads. So they designed our leads in a way that prevents them from picking up that energy. It has to do with the length of the lead. It has to do with the way that uh, coils are wrapped, uh, how far apart they are and how long they are. Uh, they just designed it in a way so that that MRI 
um, uh, that magnetic energy is not picked up like an antenna. That's the first thing they did. Uh, the second thing they did is they redesigned our devices so that devices can be MRI safe now. Um, maybe someday they'll get to a point where the device itself will detect an MRI field and will automatically switch over to an MRI safe mode. But right now what needs to happen if you have an MRI safe system is that a, uh, a company representative needs to come to you at the MRI company. They need to put your device into safe mode and then after the MRI, they need to switch your device back into normal operation. So what happens when they switch you into MRI safe mode? It's different between pacemakers and defibrillators. Um, they, they switch them both into MRI safe mode, but what they're actually doing is a little different. Uh, with pacemakers, they're turning off sensing for pacing. So they're not, the, the device is no longer looking at your heart, and that does a lot to protect the device circuitry inside. If you're um, pacemaker dependent, if you're 100% pacemaker dependent and you have no uh, underlying rhythm, but you, re you require pacing all the time, they can put your heart into, uh, your pacemaker into what's called asynchronous mode. So it's not going to sense what your heart is doing. It's just going to pace you at a constant rate no matter what happens. Now that's MRI safe mode. Again, after the MRI is done, they switch it back to your normal programming. With an ICD, uh, it's a little different. They turn off the sensing. They again block it so it's not sensing what your heart is doing. And then they turn off the shock therapy. Uh, so they're going to need to monitor you externally during an MRI. Um, and again, that's done so that they can protect the circuitry inside the device and prevent it from getting damaged. Now, the important thing to remember is that while our devices can be MRI safe, uh, making, making it safe to be in an MRI environment, our leads also have to be MRI safe. This is why you can have, this is how you can have an MRI safe device, but not have an MRI safe system. If you have a lead that's been in your body for 25 years, even if it's no longer used, even if it's been capped and you're using other leads, if that lead is inside your body and that lead is not MRI safe, then you shouldn't have an MRI done. Uh, there are instances where leads designed 20 years ago have been retroactively approved to be MRI safe, and that's okay. Those leads are, are still in patients' bodies, and now you can get an MRI with those leads. But when you're going in for an MRI, you do need to make sure that your entire system, your device, and your leads is MRI safe. And that includes the leads that have been left in your body and are no longer being used. A couple final things. First of all, it's not really your responsibility to understand this and to know this information. All you need to do is let your MRI tech know that you have an implanted system and they should be able to do the legwork for you. If you have questions, you can contact your electrophysiologist or your cardiologist or you can call the manufacturer of your device and ask questions about if the system you have implanted is MRI safe. The other thing to know is that there are institutions out there who will do MRIs on systems that are not considered MRI safe. These are usually in major metropolitan areas. They are usually major hospitals that have done extensive research on the topic. They have detailed protocols in place to make sure that there's no damage done to the system. But if an MRI is absolutely urgent for you and you're told that you can't have one, there are some hospitals in major metropolitan areas that have been doing MRIs on devices for quite some time. So you can contact them and see if they can help you out. I hope that information is helpful. Hope that alleviates some fear about MRIs, gives you a little bit more information so that you can uh, get out there and live your life the best way you can. Thanks for watching.